Hey guys, welcome back to Beauty Chats with Brittany. Today we are rocking the big hair. It's raining outside, so I know this is just going to get even frizzier than it already is, but it's okay. Um, this is the hair I've been blessed with. <laughs> so, today's video is going to be my part two of my Shop My Stash update. If you guys have been watching these for a while, you know how this works. I do one video where I update you on what I had in my Shop My Stash, and a second video where I actually show you what I'm gonna be putting back in. Um, so today's video is gonna be the products I pulled out from my makeup collection and I'm gonna be using for the next few weeks. Um, on my face today, I did use all of those products. A lot of these products are products that are brand new to me that I showed recently in my haul. Um, which is exciting for me because I get to try out new, new products. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, um, like I said in the last video, let me know if this, if these kind of videos are, um, still fun for you guys. If they're not, um, let me know as well and I can start to space them out more. Um, where I won't update you every time, but I can just update you every once in a while. If you do like these, they'll all just keep doing it, because I do this anyway. So, yeah, that's going to be today's video. Make sure you give me a thumbs up if you do enjoy these videos. Subscribe so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And we're going to go ahead and get started. So, like I said in my intro, the, a lot of these products are products that are brand new to me, which is super exciting for me because I've never used them before. Um, so it'll be fun for me to try them out. So let's go ahead and jump into what we are going to be putting in my shop, my stash. So first we're going to start out with primer. Um, for primer itself, I don't have anything new just because I haven't purchased any new primers. Um, but I did pull out the... Becca First Light Primer. Um, this is a instant complexion refresher. This is the one that's the purple tone. They also have one that's like more of like a champagne color. Um, typically with primers, I pull out one that is more hydrating and then I pour out another one that's either more mattifying or pore filling. So this is one that I pulled out. The other one that I did get out to use is a Touch and Soul No Pore Bone Primer. This is one of my all time favorite primers. Um, so I pulled this guy out to use too. And then, um, so that's it for primers. Moving on to foundation, I have quite a, quite a few foundations. Um, so the very first one I have is the Lancome Skin Feels Good Primer. I'm wearing this on my face along with the Touch and Soul No Pore Bone Primer. Um, I used this in a video previously and I um, when I used it in that video, I didn't really like it. So, I think it looks a lot better on my skin now. My under eyes look pretty bright, and I think that might be to do with the concealer I use and the highlighter. Um, my skin looks a little funky right now, but it's fine. Um, I just want to see how this holds up, because I am getting ready to go into work, and, um, you know, I've got an eight hour, nine hour day ahead of me, so I just want to see what that looks like by the end of the day. I'm making sure I'm still good on time. And then for <coughs> my other primers, or my other foundations, these are pretty new. So I do, I did pull out the Urban Decay Stay Naked Foundation. Um, I'm pretty sure my review first impression um, wear test is going to be going up on this first before the shop my stash. And I did mention in that video that I want to keep using this to see how I like it. And so far, this is probably one of my favorite foundations ever. Um, it just holds up really well on my skin. You can see in that video, I wore it almost 10 hours and I feel like it still looked really, really good even by the end of that. So I wanna keep using it to find out if that's the case, find out which primers it works with better and which ones it doesn't. So that's why it's still out for the Shop My Stash. And then two new foundations that I have not used, there's a fly, that I have not used once yet. This, no, once yet. <laughs> This is the Maybelline Dream Urban Cover Foundation. This is Maybelline's new foundation that has an SPF of 50. I also want to do a foundation wear test first impression review on this foundation. So I am pulling out in my shop my stash so that after I film that video, I can continue to use it to find out what my final thoughts are. Same exact situ situation for this one. This is the Pat McGrath Sublime, Fa Sublime Foundation. I have kept it in the box because 
This foundation is $68, so it's going to stay pre and packaged for as long as I can. The packaging of this is beautiful, though, isn't it? It's glass, it's a frosted bottle, it looks so pretty. Um, same thing for this one, I really want to film a video on this. Um, I haven't done it yet just because I want to give myself time in the morning to get ready and fully test it out. Um, yesterday and today I've been on it, like I have a time limit to get this video filmed. So I don't, like I don't want to be rushed when I do film these videos. Okay, so that's it for primers and foundations. Next, we're going to go ahead and move on to brows. So, I there for a while, I was using the same brow products in my Shop My Stash just because I was really happy with them. Um, but I decided this time I should try and switch it up. So, I did um, get out my Benefit Cabral. Um, this is in the shade 3. This is Benefit's like a dip brow, brow pomade. Um, I really just want to make <clears throat> some more progress on this guy. Um, I, nine times out of ten, am not a pomade kind of person, but I am. Matt and I are getting ready to go on a trip to Florida, and I feel like this would hold up really well in the heat. Um, and I want to try when I go to Florida to pull, just pull out products from my shop, my stash. So I'm putting this in there kind of for that. And also on days when I, I want my makeup to be more dramatic, this does come in handy because my brows are more dramatic. But I also pulled out a pencil because this is my favorite way to film my brows. This is the LA Girl, the writing's completely worn off. Shady Slim Brow Pencil, I believe is what it's called. This one's in the shade Brunette. This is the brow pencil that I'm wearing today. Um, I really like this. The color I think is a little bit dark for me because I do have to blend it out quite a bit. I think it looks really good right now, but I did have to go in and blend the pigment out pretty heavily. But overall, I really like this one, and I just want to make progress on it. Um, I do like my Anastasia Brow Wiz more, I think, because I think this one is a little bit more creamy, whereas the Brow Wiz is more stiff, which I prefer. So, And then lastly, for brow gel, I pulled out the Milk Makeup Kush Fiber Brow Gel. This one is in the shade Dutch. I actually need to apply some of this because I don't think I've put any brow gel on my brows yet. Um... I have not even, this is the, literally the very first time I'm using this, but I've had it in my shop, my stash since May. I hope that this isn't already dried out because that kind of feels like it is. That's what I get for getting stuck on that Anastasia dip brow gel, huh? It looks fine. Uh, we're just going to have to see how it holds up. But yeah, pulled out that guy for brow gel, and that's it for brows. Moving on to concealer. So for concealer, I have um, kind of new products. So I do have the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. I have mine in the shade 04 and zero fair or fair 04 and fair 08. I've used this concealer before. I haven't used it since they revamped their packaging, and I believe they also extended their shade range. So um. I pulled these out to use. I've had them in my collection for a while as well. I just haven't actually used them. Today I used the shade 04 underneath my eyes. I feel like it's a little bit too light, um, but I don't know, we'll see. And then my uh, the other concealer I got out was the Milani Conceal and Perfect Concealer. This is in the shade of Pure Ivory. I showed this in my recent haul and I just wanted to get it out to use it. Like I said, a lot of these products that are in this shop my stash or products that are brand new to me so okay that's it for concealer next we'll go ahead and move on to powder so the very first powder i literally bought probably less than a week ago i didn't feature it in my shop my stash because i have um or because i purchased it after i filmed that video um Typically, no matter if I go into Target, I always look at the makeup section. If I go into Walmart, I always look at the makeup section. And if I see something that looks interesting, I pick it up. So that's what happened with this. I went into Sally Beauty to get some of those disposable mascara wands because I'm trying to use castor oil on my lashes and my brows to make them grow, primarily my lashes. And Sally carries the collab brand um, that kind of everyone, or not everyone, more... Tati Westbrook talks about it a lot. So I pick up their loose setting powder in 
porcelain and ivory and I actually used it today um so first impressions on this so far I don't like this at all my under eyes look really dry I don't know if you can tell I sprayed a lot of setting spray on um to help with it there's lipstick on my teeth great I've sprayed a lot of setting spray on to kind of help with it but this just my under eyes just look so dry and they were fine until I use this so so far not a fan if I use it a few more times and find that I still don't like it it's getting decluttered and I'm gonna pull out a different powder to use because most of the time with products I won't love them but I can make them work this just makes my under eyes so dry that right now I feel like it's not worth me holding on to but we'll see okay and then I have two pressed powders the first one I have is the Fenty Beauty Universal Invisimat Powder. Um, I've only used this probably three or four times, so I wanted to pull it out to keep using it. Um, when I did use it, I really liked it. So we're going to see if I still do. Um, I love the packaging. I really would like to get, once I run out of the blotting powder that I'm using right now, I think I do want to get the, like, um, either get another compact and the brush, or just get the brush to use with this one and keep this in my purse. Um... Because I think this would be a really good blotting powder. And I, I just think this is like really cute. I don't know. So that's the first pressed powder I have. The next one I have is the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. This I have mine in the shade Creamy Natural. This is such a good, just like, pressed powder. Um, mattifying powder. If I think this is maybe like 3 or $4 at Walmart. Um, I've got this out because obviously I've hit pan on it and I just want to keep making progress. So that's what this guy is out for. That's it for pressed powders. Let's go ahead and we're going to talk about all of the cream products that I pulled out. Um, I typically have very oily skin. One of these cream products I know works very well for me, even with oily skin. Um, the rest of them, we're going to find out. So, the very first one I have is a cream contour. This is the Benefit Hula Quickie Contour Stick. I should have used this today. I don't know why I didn't use any of these today. Whatever, but this is one of my all-time favorite cream contour products. The color, I love the color. The packaging is cute. It blends out well. Doesn't break up on my skin. Um, I really love this, so I wanted to keep using it. Mine has broken off in the tube, so I do have to be very careful. Oh, there's a dog hair on this. Gross. I do have to be very careful when I do use this, but um, I just want to use it again because I love it. Okay, and then for cream blushes, I did excuse me show these in my haul these are the color pop um what are these called blush sticks so these are color pop's new products they're their cream blushes i have mine in the shade does it tell you where totes which is i need to put these down i don't know why i'm holding them this is totes And then I also have mine in the shade Hooked. So, totes, Hooked. Um, I am just very interested in trying these out. Um, so, we'll see how those work. And then I also got the ColourPop Light Stick. So, this is the highlighting stick. This one's in the shade Bullseye. This looks super pretty. Swatching it is right there. The only thing I'm worried about is if this is going to be too dark for me let's see how this these blend out see that blends out so well hmm color pot okay i'm excited to try those okay and the next um cream product i have is the milani strobe light liquid highlighter this one is in the shade day glow Let's just swatch it over here. This is what it looks like. That's just one little dot. Ooh. That looks really pretty. If the only thing that worries me about like cream products is if they don't dry down. Because if they don't dry down, 
and actually like stick to my face what t usually happens is my oils start to come through and then if they're not dried down they just get even more emollient and then they either slide off my face or they just like disappear so so far all of these don't seem sticky whatsoever they all do have a very like they all do seem to dry down so i'm excited to try these so even though I pulled out a lot of cream products, I still pulled out some powder products because that's my go-to. So for bronzer powder products, I did pull out the Marc Jacobs Tantastic Bronzer. Um, this is a pretty good. Um, I don't know guys, I use this today and I feel a little underwhelmed by it. I remember liking it a lot more than what I, than how I felt about it today. But that's why I pull products out to find out. So I'm going to keep using this and find out how I feel. Because right now I'm unsure. And then for another bronzer, I also have this Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Fusion. This one is in the shade 20M. I've had this for a while. Um, there's another shade I have that's like 25I, I think, that I used more. Um, so I wanted to pull this guy out and keep using it. I really like the formula. You do just have to go in with a very stiff brush or else you're not going to pick up anything. And then this is newer too. This is the L'Oreal Bronze Please Bronzer. Um, it says it's for face and body. I got mine in the shade Portofino. This is a new collection by L'Oreal that they just came out with recently. Um, again, I showed this in my haul. So excited to give that a try. Excuse me okay and then for blushes let's see so i have those cream blushes and then the only other blush that i pulled out is actually a blush palette this is the tarte blush bazaar i think i think that's how you pronounce it i don't know so it looks like this on the front this i'm pretty sure was limited edition from their holiday collection last year but when you open it there's literally like any blush shade you could ever want along with two highlight shades so I wanted to get this guy out just because I haven't used this in a long time um, and tart blushes are really good so that's what I'm getting out for blush. Okay and then for highlighters I'm super excited about this because I have a lot of new ones. So the very first one I have is the Pure Cosmetics Barbie collaboration highlighter. Um, this is in the shade Dream Glow. Look at how pretty this packaging is. I love it so much. Um, let me open it up. This is what it looks like on the inside. So you have like a bronze stripe, a pink stripe, and like a lighter stripe right there. I haven't used this yet, but I'm super excited to use it. So, um, yeah, I'll, I'll give you an update, obviously. And then I also have the Jouer Molten Glow Highlighter. This is a all over, it's, they say it's her face and body. It's very like a glowy gold shade. Um, I think I might bring this with us to Florida when we go. The packaging also is stunning on this. Um, so super excited to try that. And it comes with this little bougie pouch you can put it in. Super cute. And then the highlighter I use today is the e.l.f. I don't know exactly what this is called. It's like the prism highlighter, metal prism highlighter. Um, it has like this patterned embossing on it um this one is in the shade white gold this is a little glittery for me i did use it today um it gives me a little bit of a glow it does have some glitter in it so um i don't know i'll keep using it and let you guys know what my thoughts are but that's it for highlighters next we're gonna move on to um like single eyeshadows and liquid eyeshadows. So again, when what I showed in my stat in my haul, <clears throat> these are the Milani Hypnotic Lights liquid eyeshadows. I um, pulled these out to find out if I even like the colors, if they're similar in formula as far as the Stila ones go. Just what I think about them, obviously. So I have these guys. And then I also have these L'Oreal Crushed Foil single eyeshadows. Um, this one is in the shade Diamond Dust, and this one is in the shade Crushed, Crushed Stone. I did use Diamond Dust today all over my lid, and then I just put a little bit of my bronzer in my crease, that Market Jacobs bronzer. Um, I really like this. I think it would be prettier if I did, like, a, if I wetted it and packed it on, um, but 
it's super shimmery, um, very glittery. It is what it says it is. Um, so, so far I really like it. Okay, that's it for single shadows. And then moving on, we're going to go ahead and do palettes and then I'll finish up with lip products. So, the first palette I have is the ColourPop Sweet Talk palette. Um, I did just haul a lot of ColourPop's monochromatic palettes and I do want to do looks on with those. But, um, I've had this for probably like two months and I think I've used it once. So, I wanted to get this out so I could get put it to more use. Um... This is a Britney palette. This is all the colors that I love. They're coral, they're warm. Um, the glitters in here are beautiful. I'm just really, really excited to use this. So that's the first eyeshadow palette that I pulled out. The second one I pulled out is the Melt Cosmetics Gemini palette. Like I said, a lot of this stuff is stuff that I featured in my haul. This is what the inside of this guy looks like. Also super excited to use this just because I think the colors in here are really unique, especially this mochi color at the very end. It's a very unique green. And then Lorelei, this like mustard shade. I can just picture this like packed all over my lid and blend like a one and done kind of eyeshadow look. Pack all over my lid, blend out in my crease. I think it would be stunning. I love how there's a black in here um, and you can really go very neutral. Um, or natural as far as an eyeshadow look goes with this palette or you can vamp it up if you wanted to use some of these greens so I'm super excited for this actually I really want to pick up their other eyeshadow palettes just because they look so pretty but this is the one that I decided to go with first because it has like a mix of both um the other eyeshadow palettes they have are like the Smoke Sessions palette, which is basically a whole bunch of green eyeshadows. And then they also have like the 27 palette, or I think. I can't remember exactly what it's called, but it's a whole bunch of warm tones. So I thought this was a good mix just to get a feel for the eyeshadow formula. And then if I like it, I could get more. Okay, next product. This is the Jeffree Star Jawbreaker palette. This, I'm excited to use this, and I'm also a little bit nervous, only because this is going to be a palette that for me is going to be, it's not that I don't enjoy colorful eyeshadow looks, because I do, if I could wear them more often I would, it's just one of those things where, like the majority of people, or like a lot of people, I have to go to a job, you know, from whatever my schedule is, whatever. And I work with the public. I work in a retail environment. And um, there's an expectation at my job that I need to be dressed professional. And I don't know if these, how professional I can make these look is what I'm saying. But I pulled it out because I really wanna challenge myself. I really wanna incorporate some colors to my eyeshadow looks without it being over the top. Um, I don't know, let me know. If you guys would want me to do like a makeup tutorial with that, if you want me to see how I use this eyeshadow palette to make it work friendly. If you don't care about that and you want to see me like full on use like brain freeze, bubble gum, sour together in an eyeshadow look and just make it like completely colorful. I would love to do that too. It's just going to be like it obviously will have to be on my day off. Um... But I am really glad that I purchased this because I love all of the colors together. Um, I've heard nothing but good things about Jeffree's formula, so I'm excited to try that too. Um, but yeah, that's why I wanted to challenge myself. I mean, these two right here, you could use these two and make a very pretty neutral look for work. But like, I feel like you wouldn't be getting the full... Uh, I don't know what I'm trying to say. You wouldn't be able to, you wouldn't experience the full palette. So that's why I really want to challenge myself with this is what I'm getting at. So let me know if you guys would be interested in me. Like if I come up with something um, as far as like a wearable, colorful eyeshadow look to work. Let me know if you would actually want me to do a tutorial on that. Okay, last two palettes. First one is the um, Benefit Cosmetics. This is their Shade and Define 10 Color Contour Palette. Again, this has been something that I've had in my makeup collection for quite a while. I think I've only used this twice. I hope this is the one that Rob Beauty Christie talks about all the time because that's the one I intended to buy. So hopefully this is the same one. I'm worried that it isn't. 
But either way, we're going to test it out because I have it. I think I maybe paid $12 for this, which I think is an amazing deal considering how many contour shades you get and how many highlight shades you get. Um, we're just going to see if the formula is good, though. So got that guy out. And then another contour palette that I have not used in a very long time is the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. So this is her newer packaging. It's not really new now, but if you know back in the day, this was cardboard um, instead of plastic. And the like the, the letters on here are like lifted off from the packaging. Um, and then actually on with the shades, there's little dots on the back where you can pop them out and purchase refills. And you can do just duo. So like if you know you only use these two middle ones, you can purchase this just this duo. Um, I went hard with this a very long time ago. Um, I have stopped using it since then because of various reasons. Um, but I have it and I wanna use it and I do remember really, really liking this. So this guy, we're gonna try and use up a little bit. So that's it for my palettes. Very last thing, we're getting to the end, is my lip products. I feel like I'm about to, my voice is about to crack. So I'm going to drink some coffee. I'm doing good on time. So that's good. Okay, so lip products. We, first off, we have three new Maybelline glasses. This is in collaboration with somebody but I can't read her like I can't tell what her name is by her autograph on the lips glosses um so I don't know exactly if when I find out I'll leave it down below but I love the Maybelline lip gloss formula so when I saw these colors I really wanted to pick them up so the very first one that we have is the shade Sun Kissed. I wanted to go ahead and wipe these swatches off that way I can swatch some of these makeup product or some of these lip products for you guys okay so very first one we have is sun kissed and this is a gold orangey gold pink duochrome gloss super pretty shade name is very fitting and then next we have the shade tan line I believe this is the one that I'm wearing today on top of my um on top of the other lip product I should have told you guys what I used well I think I did Marc Jacobs bronzer Tarte blush palette elf highlight this eyeshadow, bronzer in my crease. Yeah, okay, we're good. But this is the lips gloss that I have on on top. It's pretty much worn off by now because I've been talking now for like a half hour. This one is in the shade Tan Line. Super pretty nude color. These just give your lips such an intense gloss. I have... I think three or four of Maybelline's lip glosses and like the regular shades already. That's why I was so interested in picking these up because they don't have shades like this already. So that one's in the shade tan line. I just applied more. Obviously you just saw. Next we have this one. This is in the shade barefoot. This is like a light, light pink with shimmer, I'd say. There's definitely some shimmer in there. So, super pretty. Very excited to try these. I just think that I, I, I'm pretty much already have my main, mind made up on them that I'm going to love them because the formula feels the exact same as their existing gloss formula. It's just the colors that are different. Out of all of them, I'll probably use these two colors the most and the sun kissed color the least, but I still will reach for it, just not as often. Okay. Next two lip products we're gonna we'll talk about are the Fenty Beauty Gloss Bombs. If you are at all interested in makeup, you know how amazing these are, or you've heard about how amazing these are. I have mine in the shade Fussy and Fenty Glow. Um, it's just been a minute since I've used these, not because I don't like them, but because I've been trying to use other products up. So I was like, I need to pull these out and use them because they're that good. I really want to get their the like Diamond Milk one. 
I feel like though I would probably use that one the least. I do really like the Fenty Glow. Is that what it's called? Yeah, the Fenty Glow one the most. So, Fussy is really pretty too, but it's just a lot more pink. Okay, I put on way too much gloss. Next few lip products I have, these are the Anastasia Liquid Lipsticks. These came in a set that was limited edition, I believe, and can no longer get. Um, we have the shade Bittersweet, Dazed, and Hudson. These are perfect fall colors is why I picked them out. Just, I know it's the end of August and I don't think we're quite the, to fall yet, but I'm in the fall mood. I'm in the fall makeup mood, so I got those out so I could use those. And then two Smashbox, li Smashbox liquid lipsticks I got out. We have the shade Fair Game and Stepping Out. Fair Game is, um very like a lighter nude stepping out is a deeper nude almost a brown so good this is hold on stepping out and fair game let me swatch these anastasia ones for you too really quick because i feel like on camera in the tube all of those anastasia ones look very similar or maybe they didn't it's just me but because they are very different. So, here's the Anastasia ones. This one is in the shade Dazed. This one is in the shade Hudson. And this one is in the shade Bittersweet. I just feel like those are like beautiful fall colors. So, got those guys. Again, let me wipe my hand off. Okay, and then last few lip products. So, I have two Bare Minerals liquid lipsticks. We've got the shade Wink and the shade Swag. Wink is a very, very light pinky nude. Um, if you, if anyone else owns these, let me know if you've noticed, like, oil coming out of them. Um because mine literally like they have like residue on them and it's coming out of like it's um around like the stopper whenever I unscrew the cap so I don't know if that means they're going bad or what but so here we have the shade wink and this one's in the shade swag next we have the Kylie Jenner matte liquid lipstick in the shade exposed this is a very pretty deeper warmer nude color so that one's the shade Exposed by Kylie. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, and then we have two of these L'Oreal Color Riche Shine Bombs. I've got Watermelon Plump and Luminous Coral. So let's watch, watch these really quick. Why not? We're swatching everything else. I pulled these out because these are going to be more for when I'm feeling the summer vibe. Like I said, I think these will be really good when Matt and I go to Florida. So we have Watermelon Plump. That one's pretty, pretty sheer. And then Luminous Coral. Very pretty shades. Okay, and then very few last lip products. So I did pull out two ColourPop lipsticks. Um, the first one I have is Appy. This is like a nude color. And then I also have one from their Velvet Blur line, and this one is in the shade of Mesmerize. So this is a rosy um, lipstick. This is like more, for me, this is more of a fall color. And then last two lip products, I pulled out the MAC Babe Town Cream Sheen Lipstick. This is, um... This was limited edition. I can't remember what collection it was from specifically. This is just a very light, cool tone nude. I thought this would be good to pull out to use with layering if I have like a lip product that I want to lighten. And then lastly, I have the Sonia Ka Kashuk Velvet Matte Lip Crown. This is actually what I'm wearing underneath that gloss. You can't get this anymore because, well, 
I don't know. Does Sonia Kashuk still, still sell makeup, just not in Target? I need to check that. Um, as of right now, I don't think you can get this anymore. But I'll let you, I'll double check and let you guys know. But this is that shade. It's just a very light pinky nude, basically. Okay. So, that's pretty much it for my Shop My Stash, like, new products. The only other thing I wanted to mention to you guys is I have been using this e.l.f makeup sponge it looks a lot bigger because it is damp um i ha haul this in my haul if you guys need a cheap inexpensive cheap and inexpensive are the same thing alternative to the beauty blender this is very this pleasantly surprised me this blends out foundation very well um it gets big enough to and it's squishy enough to where it pounces well on your face to blend out everything the only thing that, the only thing, and this is a personal preference, is I don't love the shape as much. I much prefer, prefer the shape of like a beauty blender or a Sonia Kashuk sponge or an equal tool sponge. Only because I wish this was um, wider or longer to get underneath my eyes. Because I, when I do set my under eyes, I typically drag my powder down pretty far. When I use those other sponges, it kind of does that for me because it covers this area all on its own. Whereas this, I feel like I have to drag down to get it covered. And just like, it's kind of, I don't know, it's kind of awkward to hold sometimes. But that's all that, like, those are my only issues. It still does blend out products very well. And I think this was maybe like $6. So if you would just prefer to purchase e.l.f. or if that's the only like brand that you really have access to. Um, see, look at this powder. You see that dry spot, spot on my face? Hmm. Even right here? Hmm. Okay. Um, if you would just prefer this one, I do recommend it. And the shape is just personal preference. Okay guys, so that's going to be it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Just leave me a comment down below, like I said in the intro, letting me know what you think of these videos. Please be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you do. I am headed off to work. All you, all you ladies out there, all you men out there who are hustling, working your job to make money, I'm here for you. I feel you. I know sometimes it's frustrating. I know sometimes people be trying us, but it's okay. We got this. We got this. We're good. Okay, guys, that's going to be it for me. I hope you all have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.